Hi everyone, Frank Game here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make bismuth crystals. So I've got about a 3 kilogram piece in this uh, pot right here. So here's the metal up close. Now bismuth is a very dense heavy metal right next to lead on the bottom right side of the periodic table. Let me show you where it is. So it's right right here next to lead. Bismuth is actually the heaviest stable element. It is technically radioactive, but its half-life is longer than the current age of the universe. So any much a negligibly small amount of radiation, it's gonna be around for a while. So what I need to do is I'm going to um, melt all of this bismuth. Bismuth has a pretty low melting point for a metal about uh, 520 degrees Fahrenheit, or 271 degrees Celsius, much like lead. Uh, bismuth is actually a good alternative to lead since it is not toxic like lead is, and it has a similar density. So I'm going to put this on a hot plate and start melting it. The rainbow color you see on the crystals right, on the, um, on the bismuth right here, the solid bismuth, that's um, bismuth oxide. It tends to form different colored oxides depending on the temperature it was when it touched uh, the surrounding oxygen. I'm going to start melting this. Speed it up with a propane torch. <laughs> Alright, so once, you, once you've melted all the bismuth, you'll notice a bit of a, a skin of impurities form on the top. Um, mixture of bismuth oxides, carbonates, hydroxides, whatever else may have formed when reacting with the surrounding oxygen, water vapor, carbon dioxide, stuff like that. So, um, once this solidifies, um, the, the top of this uh, pan is a bit thinner than the bottom, so I'm not going to be able to snap this out once I form the crystals. So. Let me transfer this to another container. Alright, so I've transferred this to another container now. Let me melt the bit that's solidified here. Alright, now I've still got a skin of oxides on the surface. All you need to do to get rid of these is simply, simply skim them off with a spoon or a fork. They'll generally occur in, um, gray powders on the surface like you see here. Gray or yellow powders. So I've gotten rid of most of the impurities there. So let me make sure this is all still molten. It'll quickly coat itself in oxide layer again, but that's that's okay. You can it's unrealistic to remove every last bit of it. But remove as much as you can. The more pure your bismuth, the better the crystals are gonna be. Alright, so I've removed most of the impurities now. And make sure this is all still molten. Yep. So, all I need to do now is I'm going to remove it from the source of heat, just place it on another metal surface here, and give it about eh, 30 seconds to cool. Alright, I've given it roughly 30 seconds now. Crystals have definitely been forming on the bottom there. You've got a, you've got a pretty small window of time to pour the excess liquid off before it freezes, so I'm going to do that right now.
pan is still very hot, of course, so you want to use oven mitts. Wow. And the result is these really, really nice, big, complex crystals on the bottom here. They'll quickly coat themselves in the characteristic rainbow oxide layer. Now this definitely took quite a bit of trial and error on my part to figure out just the right amount of time I needed to cool the bismuth without the rest of it freezing around the crystals. So let me go cool this off and snap the crystals out. Alright, so I've cooled the crystals off now and all you need to do is just turn it upside down and snap the crystals out. Let me get a towel because I really don't want to break these. These are really nice crystals. And here's the final result here. So as you can see, the crystals have quickly coated themselves in the characteristically colorful bismuth oxide layer. Now bismuth is pretty brittle compared to most metals, so you can easily, you can snap crystals off, give it to your friends, whatever you want to do with it. And you can use the rest Here's my excess bismuth here. You can grow more crystals with the excess. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.